Hey guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is uh, Saturday night. I'm not sure exactly what day it is. It might be the 4th, I think. Maybe the 5th. Uh, I'll be uploading this video tomorrow on Sunday morning. Hope everybody around the world is doing well and keeping safe during this crisis that we're having all around the world. <sighs> I'm going to take a breath from that. But let's go ahead and let me bring you in into my indoor garden. Let me show you what I currently have going on and we're going to take these little guys and put them right into the reservoir and get things moving. Let's come along. Alright, as you can see here we have substantial growth guys. Beautiful, beautiful little lettuce babies. I love how they look. There's actually, I'm glad that there's a variation here. As you can see we have the spotted lettuce. You know, when I initially started this grow, the, 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 uh, the actual, that looks beautiful. The actual germination of the lettuce, it wasn't that great because the, the, the actual seeds, they just weren't that good. Let's take a look at this one here. Whoa. Monster root system. Look at that. Holy moly. I love when I see that. I love that. Awesome. Very, very cool. So, and these are looking good too. These smell really nice. Mmm. Even this small. Yeah, that's that lemon balm. I'm not sure if I even got any peppermint in here. It might all be lemon balm. I'm not sure, but I love that lemony smell. These are kales. Confirmed kales. And you can actually see. You won't be able uh, You might be able to. This piece right here is very kale looking like. But I'm, I'm excited where everything is here. Okay, except for the super leggy one right here, which unfortunately I'm probably going to have to get rid of anyway. But everything here is looking phenomenal. This spotty lettuce right here, this romaine, it's really great. I'm really excited for it. And this other uh, romaine is looking wonderful. And I let me tell you, right now in germination, I already have some sugar baby watermelon. I have more lettuce. What else did I throw in there? I got some basil. And that's it. So I'm waiting for the cucumber. I'm waiting for some spacing just so you guys know. Let me take you over here. Right there. Two boxes. I'm going to be doing the uh, unboxing tomorrow. That is the Mars Hydro New Light and the Mars Hydro Tent. Super excited. So wait for that. Now, back to what I got going on here. So, if you're new to the channel, by the way, my name is Mike. I'm an indoor gardener. I do all hydroponics. This is my current setup right here. I don't have anything at the bottom. I don't have, I'm about to have things at the top. So, I'm going to have two reservoirs. This one and this one. I already went ahead and filled them with some water, as you can see here. If you're wondering what those things are, everything's going to be linked in the bottom, okay? Everything that I use here from the lights to the shelving to the tent to the fan especially the water pumps to the air stones those are air stones right there and the tubing as you can see here I had some clear tubing I'm actually running out, of, running out of tubing so I went ahead and bought a huge thing of tubing I'm gonna put the link down below I'm also gonna put the link down below for that tubing specifically that exact tubing that goes onto this I don't want you guys to make a freaking one mistake when having to buy something and then having to return it I don't want you to skip a beat. In this case, all the links below will be exact on what you need. Anyway, as you can see here, I'm going to be taking these individually. I'm going to be putting them into basically a setup just like that. This is from the previous grow. We got all our hydrotone. We got all our net pods. So this is all some dirty stuff right here. But I'm going to be filling these right now. Let's go ahead and do that. Now when I'm putting these in, it's nothing special. I mean, basically all you're doing is sliding this right through that sliding in the other one after a while they actually get pretty warped you know it's interesting as soon as I start putting this in I actually quickly have to put this through this is the first time it's ever happened to me I don't know what's going on on earth or water some sort of weird gravitational pull but let me tell you the water it actually starts to seep out it's kind of weird it's never happened to me before but it's happened to me now uh, as you can see here the water just kind of starts coming it's really weird but anyway, I got it hooked up now, um, and I'm going to show you guys everything in just a little bit. Let me just take this other one as well. Yeah, this one already has some water in it. 
So I'm going to place that one right in there as well. Drop this through here. It's so I'm so confused at why this is happening. This has never happened before. Where the water takes on the gravity some way, somehow, and starts pulling out of the, uh, <laughs> out of, I don't know what's going on, but anyway, we're all plugged in here. And let me show you guys what that looks like. So as you can see here, both of the connectors are connected into these. If I want to open this valve, I would turn it that way. If I want to close it, I would turn it that way. So both of these would get closed because they're not being used at this time. This way, all the power is going to be going into these two. And let me show you what that looks like. So basically, remember it's the black cord. I believe it's this one right here. What we would do is, this is on a timer, and this always runs. So check this out. So I hear it working. You could hear it working because I go like this. All right, you hear that? So watch this, when I open this valve, check this out. See that? This valve is closed. I'm gonna turn it now. See that? This will provide really wonderful oxygen to the root systems and it will allow for the plants to grow really well. See, when I run two reservoirs with one pump, you have unbelievable growth. Like the root systems get, because when, let's watch this. So if I open this third one, watch how they reduce. You see that? The amount of oxygen, the amount of flow has significantly reduced. It will work, and I do it. Watch when I just put my finger over it. They get real crazy, okay? When you have it like that, it's crazy, okay? The plants love it. The plants literally love it. All right, let me go ahead and uh, put these in here and uh, get this thing moving. All right, so as you guys can see, basically I'll take a neck cup like this, okay? What I like to do is, I'll put a little bit of hydrotone in there. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. And then, we're gonna put this just like that. All right, hopefully you guys can see in the light. I'm gonna be improving this a little bit. I'm actually gonna be, um, I just figured some things out that will definitely improve some of the production that I'm doing here. So I'm pretty excited, so hopefully I'll be bringing you guys some better angles on the upcoming videos. But, as you can see here, it's simple as that. All it is is the Hydrotone basically goes into the cup. The Hydrotone is used to hold, okay, it just holds the rock wool in place as this whole thing grows, as you could say. And that's it. And it's built so the root system just come, kind of comes out the bottom here. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this inside just like this and that's all you do that's it all right let me go ahead and plant these in here I'll go as quick as possible a little bit of time but as you as you can see it actually does take a little bit to get everything out of there and into these little net pods with the rock wool with the with the, with the hydrotone it takes a minute okay so and I'm so upset my one of my kales the stem broke so I'm gonna be have to really be careful it's the one stem with three seeds in it uh, I'm very upset, but check this out what I did guys instead of throwing that one out that I talked about This is something that I'm actually experimenting with this time around. I'm gonna see how it goes 
I took two lettuce heads and put it into one net pot and I think it's going to be successful because of the way that a lot of times in hydroponics the way that it grows without the certain type of growth hormone or whatever it is that they jack the, these things up in the fields okay because everything in here is controlled by me whatever I feed them how the water is the overall climate, the humidity, the temperature, everything is all based on what I want and how I do it and how I maintain it. So we'll see how this grows out because if I could get two heads, more yield for the space, okay, then maybe that's something I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to look into. I mean, I'm going to be wasting more hydrotone. I think it's very important to figure out a way how to not spend money on hydrotone and how to be able to seed things without the hydrotone just like a dirt you know a lot of times people ask me why don't you use dirt well I don't like dirt because I I tend to overwater and I get gnats and I hate flies in my house it's ridiculous I've actually last year at way early on I tried a number of things with dirt inside my house I was so f upset because all you get is a lot of flies those little gnats that when it's too wet I don't even know. I don't even like to talk about it. Uh, I want to mention one more time, if you're new to this channel or if you're coming across my videos, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Really appreciate you guys. And make sure to hit the links down below for all the stuff that you need. You don't, do, you don't need to do the research on what you need. I did it for you. All the links are down below for everything that you need to set yourself up with an indoor grow just like this. Especially, especially in a time like this. So again, make sure to hit the links down below. Hit the subscribe button as well as the uh, the bell. This way you get notifications via email so this way you don't miss any videos. I love, finally, I'm so excited. The new grow setup. I mean, just like in a little bit of time, this is gonna be overgrown. Uh, the crazy amount of seeds in germination I have. I'm really excited to get going here and I'm easily gonna have three here. And the new tent, I'm not sure exactly where it's going to go. Uh, as you can see here, i got some bikes and a stupid golf set that I've never used. So I'm guessing, because I have power there, and I'm able to get power over here, I don't want to cover this window, but I probably will set up the 2x2 two two right over here. This, this, th If you watched the previous video, you know that I have my wife put a bunch of coats in there and whatnot and over here is my little gym I love this little gym area it's perfect setup absolutely perfect setup got a little TV action right here so I'm pretty stoked it's a nice little space that I got going on here. I call it my man cave but you know this is what I got going on here so I'm really excited and I'm probably going to have to because I only have one two th three four five six I only have enough reservoirs to fit this entire space. I've only ever made, I've only grown in here. I've never grown anywhere else except the one time where I used this, this LED Mr. Hua light right there, this, the, the, the round one, and I actually did, um, that's when I did the dirt plants and I tried to grow a couple things within dirt and that's just not, I just don't like doing that. So I'm actually, now that I think about it, I'm wondering if I can get a, a metal shelving space for the new tent. I'm gonna have to see. So wait for the unboxing. I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be making the videos tomorrow for the unboxing for the Mars Hydro tent, as well as the light. And I'll go into a review on that. And that's gonna be its own setup. I'm gonna have the single light with the tent, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's an amazing light, and hopefully, it's an amazing tent with high quality features. So I'm pretty stoked. But anyway, guys, I want to leave you with this. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited what we got going on here, what we started. There's so much to come in the upcoming weeks. Everything here is looking delicious and amazing. I can't wait to, you know, keep you guys updated on the development of these beautiful plants and herbs and unbelievable. I'm really excited to make some tea with the lemon balm as well as see the development of this lettuce. Guys, thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next couple of days. Bye-bye.